Hey, what is going on guys? Z here. So in my previous video, my previous tutorial on Skype, I went through some of the basics on how to start conversations, how to add or find a person using the search method, and some of the other basic things that I will run through in this video. But what I'm going to mainly primarily do in this video is show you some of the options that you can do while you're in a phone conversation with somebody else when you're connected to a Skype to Skype conversation. So now let's go ahead and go through some of the some of the um, previous things that we went through. So the first thing is how to add somebody. So the first thing that you're going to need in order to add somebody on Skype is you're going to need their name. So you're going to ask them for their name. Once you get their name, you're going to go into Skype and you're going to type it in right here in the search bar right here. Now, if you guys don't have Skype, you want to get Skype and you don't know where to get it from or how to get it. I have a tutorial on that. I take you through step by step on how to get it, how to create an account for it and everything of that sort. I will post a, a thumbnail to the video of that. So if you guys don't want to check that out, I will have that posted on this video. So back to this. So once you get the name, you would type in their name right here, whatever their name is, and then you would search the Skype directory once and then you should find it. You should find their name. Your, their name, their email address, but they need to have Skype in order for you to add their Skype name, obviously. Another thing I want to show you guys here is, is uh, how to set your status. So if you want to set yourself away, do not disturb invisible offline, then you would click on this arrow right here. And if you did want to set up call forwarding, which means that you would be able to transfer. So if somebody calls your Skype, it would it would forward the call to your cell phone that would actually cost money and you would have to get some Skype credit but I could show you that in another tutorial uh, if you guys were interested in seeing that so again this is how you set your status if offline invisible do not disturb away whatever it is and now I'm gonna place a call with my other laptop and uh, the Skype name on that other laptop is Silent Waka HD. So right now that this is my account right here on this lap on this laptop, and the other laptop I'm gonna put that I'm placing a call is this right here. This this is the name. So I'm gonna place a call and show you some of the options that you can do. Number one, you can go ahead and message. Just put my phone away because I can actually hear that in the background. So you can go ahead and show IMs. You can message while you're actually speaking on the phones. Right now I'm actually in a conversation as you can see here. The time is passing by. And I can go ahead and type messages to the person I'm speaking with. And they can send me messages too. Now if you didn't want to close that, that message box, you would just close that there. Hold on a second, I can still hear myself. So I'm going to let's mute it from my side as well. So I still have the conversation running, but both microphones are muted. Now the um, what the other thing that you can do here is uh, you can show contacts obviously while you're still speaking. So if you didn't want to see your other contacts, you can go ahead and check that out, and then that's how you would close it. Now if you did want to add an attachment, or you want to add recipients to, or sorry, you want to add uh, people to the call, you would click on this plus, and it would give you a bunch of options here. So in within these options right now, I'm going to show you, I'm going to go through the, f the first ones, the first one right here, which is send files. Now, if you want to send a file, you would go in there and you would actually send a file, whether it's a picture, a document. And once you send that file, so I'm going to go and type, I'm going to send this drone battle file. I'm going to send it in. And as you can see, it's, it went ahead and sent it. So now the other recipient that I'm speaking to, the other person, which is me, obviously, because I'm doing this, I'm, te I'm doing this for test purposes. That person can open up this document, and they can, if whether it's a picture or document, whatever it is, and they could, they basically got it. Now, if you wanted to add, let's say, let's say you wanted to send a contact to them, you would do the same thing. You would click on send contacts, and then you would just, I guess, you would type in the name. So. You would type in the name of the contacts, but I don't really have any contacts here, so it's not going to really help me. Um, let's see what else. You can share screens with the other recipe. Now, I don't know if this is going to work because I'm on Skype on, uh, from my phone. I called Skype from my phone, but I'm able to share screens if I wanted to. So at least that person may be able to see my screen. So let's see, share your screen. Yeah, let's share my screen. Okay, and we're going to click on start. 
and now the screen is actually being shared with the other person I'm speaking to. Now this would work in a Skype to Skype conversation. Oh, there we go. Actually, it is working. I'm on my phone right now and actually and I can actually see the screen that I'm being shared with. Now I'm going to show you guys. Let's see if I can open it up with my with my um uh, what do you call it? My screen reflector. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my screen reflector and see and just show you guys what I'm seeing on my phone over here, just to give you guys a good example. So let's go ahead and open up. We'll turn on AirPlay mirroring. Click on my desktop. And there you go. There is my phone right now. So I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but there's my phone. And it's actually showing a big screen. I don't know why it's overlaying the top of my screen, but I'm going to go I'm going to have to close that in just a second because it is but basically it's showing this uh, my my screen on Skype right here is being shared onto my phone. So let's go ahead and close that up. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the stop sharing button is right there. I just couldn't find it before. It's in the top right corner. Okay, so we just stopped sharing it. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can add people to this call. So you can you can go ahead and click on add people to this call. And you can, obviously, you'll have your contacts there. You can type in the contact that you have. I don't really have any contacts on this account. But you can go ahead and add people to the call so you can speak to multiple people at the same time. Okay, guys, so another thing that you can do is basically you can start a video call. And you start a video call by actually click by clicking on this right here. So that would enable video. That would turn video on. And you'll just be able to see me in just a second. So as you can see... I actually have my iPhone here, which is on video call on both screens. So that is how you start up a video call. And then to turn it off, you would just click on that again, and your video is now turned off. All right, so say you had a contact and you're not sure who it is because they do have a strange name, like let's say Silent Waka. So what you would, what you would want to basically do is if you would want to rename that name, you would be able to do that which wouldn't change anything from their side, it would just change the name on your side so that you can recognize the name. So what you would do is you would right click again, so right click on the name and you would do rename and then you would type in the name. So you can type in Z and it would, it would show up as Z anytime you logged in so that now you would basically know who it is who signed in. So some of the other things that you can do within a right click is you could Right click obviously on their name, you can call video call send IM. This is a very quick way of doing it. You can hide conversations, remove them from a contact if you don't want to be there. If you don't want them on your contact list anymore, you could block their you could block them. You could I guess add them to favorites so that you see them first on your list when you log into Skype so that they're on the top there. And just to show you, let's add to favorites so that we can see one once and then uh, that person gets a star on their name. So if you go into contacts, you'll have them at the top there. As you can see, they'll be on the top. Some of the other things that you can do is, let's see, you can share screens right away. This is just a very shortcut way of doing things. Very handy. If you guys didn't want to go through uh, the top over here, the top menu and go through a bunch of different options. So now I'm going to take you through some of the icons right here at the top. So this one right here is the home button. It takes you to the home screen where you can actually set up a status. It's almost like the old Facebook. I don't know if you guys remember. You can set up a status. Tell your contacts what you're up to. So here I just wrote testing out Skype. So if now if they click on your name, it'll actually say that if they look into your status updates. So moving on to the next part, we do have a dial pad now you will need skype credit in order to call mobile phone numbers or landlines you will need skype credit now this plus sign right here is you can create a new conversation with somebody else or you can just double click on their name this is just a harder way of doing it i guess um and then this one right here is a bot you guys you can add bots to speak to so sky scan scan uh sorry sky scanner sky report sports jeff bot hipmunk all of these I have special, I guess, I wouldn't say designated, but basically you can speak to them about uh, uh, related things like UPS bot. You can type in the UPS code if you have a UPS number. Hipmunk, if you were looking to buy a flight, I guess, you can say searching for a flight. 
Oh, I can see they're already messaging me. Where are you flying from? So, you, and this basically they're bots. So you just speak to them. They tell you where the flights are. They search the internet. I haven't really used uh, this particular one. I've used some of them, like the weather one, where you can actually type out what is the weather today in in wherever you live. So you can just type that out. Um, as you can see here, there are a lot of them. You even have some gaming bots where you can actually game with them. I haven't played around with that, but be my guest. Go ahead, play around with that and see what happens. You will have to add it to the contact, obviously. So if you did want to add, if you did want to add one to see, to keep in touch, I guess. Let's go ahead, poker bot. Um, let's play. So here we go. Here's where you new game. So here, I've never used this before. This is my first time. But here is you can play poker with a bot, I guess. Um, I guess these are my cards right here. I got the Ace Nine. I'll just I'll just do the um, I'll just play a little bit of poker. Let's keep calling because we got some aces there. And let's just go all in. And we won. All right. So that is pretty cool. You can play some games. So if you're in a meeting or something and you have Skype open, you can go ahead and add uh, one of these bots, one of these poker bots or gaming bots or whatever. So that's another cool thing. Another cool thing that I want to show you guys is uh, translators. So if you guys are in a call with somebody else who's speaking a different language, I actually made a video about this. But anyway, if you're in a call with somebody else you could, that's speaking a different language, you can go ahead and click on their name, the ones that you're speaking to. Obviously, you need to be, you can't be in the call yet before you do this, so you need to actually set this up beforehand. So let's say this person right here is going to be speaking German. So you would prepare that. You would double click on their name. You would click on this world icon right here. And as you can see me, I have mine set to English because that is the language that I speak. And then the other person we're going to set to, let's say they're speaking German. Now this, I think, supports up to nine or eight or nine languages as of now. But you would keep that to German and you would have it and you would have this toggled on, obviously. So that's toggled off. You would have that toggled on. And it would work for calls and it would work for messages. So now anytime they would type in German to you, it would automatically translate it into English. Now, if you did speak a different language, let's say you spoke Chinese simplified, then you would have it uh, translated into Chinese simplified. So whatever you choose here is what it will translate the other language into. So let's leave that into English. We have that set. Now, if you place a call, even the speech from the other person that you're calling will be translated into English or into the language that you chose. But there is a little bit of a delay. There's like a two second delay because obviously it does need to hear the language being spoken before the bot obviously um, it translates it into English or to the language that you chose. So that's a really cool new feature. Not many people know about that feature. So I'm going to go ahead. You can go ahead and toggle that on. And for each person, it's different. So you need to preset it before you actually speak to the person. Here on the bottom right here, I don't think I, I did go into that in my previous video, but here you have some emote, emote icons right here where you can choose the smiley faces or whatever. Uh, here is, you can send contacts. We went, went through that. Send a video message if you did want to send just a video message. Send a file. Send, an, send a picture. So all these right here, you have them set for each for each. Uh, each thing and you can send it to the person so if so each person would obviously have these things on the bottom okay now so if we look at the top here you can create a new group and you can add contacts into the group and then you can communicate with a whole group conversation so let's actually see here I'm gonna create a group with hipmunk let's just create a group and ZWAS and hipmunk were added so now I have two people in the group and actually, I, I'm thinking maybe we can play poker together. I'm not sure. I haven't tested it out yet. But you guys can go ahead and test it out. So anyway, that is going to be it for this video for tutorial number two of Skype. The second tutorial that I made of Skype. So guys, that is going to be it. If you did find this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.